It's a Georgia town known around the world for being home to thousands and thousands of walkers. The cast and crew of The Walking Dead have called Sonoy home for eight season now. Seasons and fans flock there for a glimpse of the show's biggest stars. Good day, Lennis Paul Milliken is live at a place where many of those stars stop in for a mm -hmm. bite to eat. He's at Nick and Norman's this morning. And Paul, you're having a breakfast to die for. Apparently drinks to die for, too, it looks like. Well, that's part of breakfast, right? <laughs> no. what, what is breakfast without a good drink to go along with it? So we've got both this morning. We got food, we got drink. This is the kind of Halloween party you want to be at. And like you said, this is Nick and Norman's. And Elise, it's incredible how popular this restaurant is. But of course, it makes sense. It's right in the middle of Sonoy. This is where The Walking Dead is filmed. You get thousands and thousands of tourists every single month coming here to check out Walking Dead locations. They get hungry. They want to drink. They come here to Nick and Norman's and this guy right here the GM David very happy to welcome them. How are you? Oh, we're great. We're having a great time. Yeah, and this month in particular has been so busy. You just had Walker Stalker Con. You had the hundredth episode air of The Walking Dead. What has been the vibe in this restaurant? It's got to be so exciting. It is electric. It is it is like the Super Bowl of, of uh, the season for us yeah. here. Just just hundreds and uh, probably thousands of people that have come in and and uh, you know just buying t-shirts and hats and anything they can get their hands on. Yeah, and let's it, show the merchandise real quick too because I know that is almost as popular as anything else in here is the fact that people can leave with a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a hat, that kind of stuff. It's amazing and uh, you know who would have thought that that uh, that Norman and um, Greg were this popular, yeah. but but then think about their careers and what they've yeah. done even yeah. before the the Walking Dead. So this restaurant celebrates their success mm -hmm. and their lives, and uh, you know we're we're creating things to go along with what what they like as yeah. well. So. Yeah, well, and that's what's really cool too, because I feel like when you come here to Nick and Norman's, you're getting a little bit of a glimpse into who Norman Reedus and Greg Nicotero are, not just who they are in conjunction with the show, but who they are as people. Absolutely, and and it's ever changing. You know. The the, uh, the photos on the wall are Norman's work. Yeah. We're going to rotate those out, make them available to our guests, and uh, just like the food items and the and the beverages, we're always going to continue to evolve. As soon as I see Norman drinking something, I'm going to create it in this restaurant. <laughs> it's it's kind of fun, you know. So we have a really good time, and that's an yeah. example of what we're doing here today. And you know, fans are going to want to drink it if Norman Reedus was drinking it too. So Michael's the bartender here. Tell me what we've got. We've got three drinks. What are they? Okay, we have the uh, Carl's Puddin, okay. the Bite Me, mm -hmm. and the Blind Squirrel. Okay, so I love the idea of the Blind Squirrel. I have no idea what it is, so tell me what's in there. Okay, we have the Cast and Crew Walnut, mm -hmm. um, Toffee Whiskey, French Jellico, and a Splash of Cola. Ooh, all right, so I'm going to do a little taste test of each one, and I'll tell you which one is my favorite. Elise, this is just a small sip as a journalist, all right? This just is not, a sip. You know, it's not too early for this. Okay. <laughs> It is 5 o'clock somewhere. Thank you very much, Chef, for saying that. That's actually delicious. That's really good. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it, which was good. All right, this one. A little bit of everything, huh? Ooh, that's got a little kick to it. That one does. Yeah, I like that. And finally, Carl's Pudding. Okay, that's Halloween in a you cup like that? right there. It's like chocolate, it's candy, it's sugar, it's Halloween in a cup. I love it. Trick or treat for me, that's the one I want. And real quick, Chef, before we wrap up, now that I've had a few drinks, I need to, of course, eat and soak it up. So what do we got here on the table? So we got the uh, Philly cheesesteak fries, yep. our sidewinder fries with smothered with cheese, Philly beef, peppers, Ooh. onions, oh. wow. mushrooms, and then we have our or actually one of our top selling entrees are our meatloaf with oh. mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans and cornbread. Oh, perfect southern meal right there. The meatloaf, the cornbread, the mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. You can't beat it. <laughs> All right. Well, I got a fork too. At least this the the treats keep coming on this Halloween, so if you'll excuse me, at least I'm going to try a little food here. Let me just try the meatloaf real quick. How does he even wake up with such a tough job? Oh, yeah, job? that's I mean, you got a tough gig there. That is so boss. good. <laughs> that, Taking one for that's the team. That's gold right there. Was it good? Yeah. Thumbs up? Yeah. Here's my burgers with meatloaf nice. with Millican. Ooh, oh, oh <laughs> my goodness. No. No and no. Bring <laughs> us back some, Paul. Thank you. Enjoy it. Coming up.